morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Apostle Jimmy Jumra with Jesus Delivery International Ministry and JDI Networks, founder of Jesus Delivery International Ministry and JDI Networks. I am so glad you clicked on this video today. Today is March the 8th, 2020, and this is Jesus Deliver International Ministry Sunday morning service. So if you click on it any other time of the day, you got it. I want to talk a little bit about what's been going on here. I am in located in Nashville, Tennessee, metropolitan area. And about a week ago, we had a tornado. Of course, it's been all over the news, all over the U.S., and I'm pretty sure they saw it in other countries. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about that um, because of what was happening. I noticed we we are in a leap year, and as we was leaping over to March, I got sick. I was down. I could not talk, so I couldn't even uh, videotape last week's message. Then the tornado hit, and it was like I asked God to help me remember the scripture. But it was like in the Bible when uh, they put the blood on the doorpost and the death angel skipped over the houses that the blood was on. But the other houses, they were devastated. They were, uh, the death angel killed the people. So that's what that tornado remind me of. Because as I went out and looked at the areas, um, I noticed that certain houses had a whole pole on top of the house. The house was just wiped out. And it may have been a couple of houses down, they were still standing. It's like God had came through Tennessee and got rid of some of the stuff that he didn't care for. And it reminded, and then some of the other things he did care for, uh, he didn't touch. He told the tornado, don't touch that one, get that one. Don't touch that one, get that one. I noticed in my prophecy, uh, I just kind of looked over that this morning. I noticed in my prophecy for the year 2020 how I said that God was not going to, God was going to free the church and a, a remnant of people that has been doing what does said the Lord, no matter what, they're going to be free. They're going to be doing what God wants them to do. He's going to put them out to the forefront. So as I watched the devastation of, of the tornado, and I want to pause here and show you a couple of pictures that we went out and took. I wasn't feeling that well, so but I was driving and somebody else was snapping the shots. So one of them, I might let you see the, you know, the car part, but basically I want you to see some of the pictures that we took. And... Ask God how to bring the light in your dark situation. Because this is all about light, the light of Christ. I ran into a gentleman in Walmart, a prophet. All prophets are very peculiar. <laughs> the true ones are. And especially the ones that's got a uh, very heavy call on their lives. This uh, gentleman goes into the places where the church normally will not go. But God has created people to pull his, 
his people out of that rut, out of that dark area. They may, he may have to go into the drug infested areas. Uh, he said people are trying to kill him. And they uh, did all kind of things for him. But because he had that hedge of protection around him, he was never touched. All that to say, take a look at the video, um, a couple of pictures here. And then I want to go into our message today. Fear is not of God. This is uh, some of the pictures for the from the Tennessee tornado. Uh, you can see the house here and the house next door. You can see poles laying down on the ground. Uh, that was the electricity. You can see the mayor. Uh, you can barely see him, but he's up in there walking the streets. Uh, this is just people um, surveying. These are volunteers. They are helping out to clean up the devastation. Um, this is just, just mind-blowing. Uh, you can see a pole on top of the house. And, and now you see the people helping clean it up. They doing what they can do, the volunteers, and then they'll let everybody else that has the expertise to do the rest. Poles everywhere. Just, you know, houses is just gone. Look at that. It's gone. Um, and that's me. I'm in the car with my mask on. And uh, just devastating. Just driving through the devastation. But I want you to see, as you look at these pictures, you see how the people are coming together. I'm showing more of the devastation, but you'll see more and hear more of the message that God has for you. But this is Tennessee Tornado. I hope you enjoy those uh, pictures. Not so much for enjoyment purposes because it's devastation. But I want to tell you that Tennessee is the volunteer state. And I'm telling you, you saw people in, standing out there. Um, I think I had a couple of shots where they were digging or pulling stuff or picking up stuff. Those are all volunteers. Nobody is getting paid to clean up this stuff. And donations, millions of dollars are coming in from all over. So that shows the devastation of a tornado is the dark part. But the light is what God is bringing in for his glory and for his purpose. I don't care if these people want recognition. It doesn't matter. Their hearts are in the right place. And they are helping out where they need to help out. So that's the light of Christ. And as we go into this message this morning, this message is fear is not of God. I want to do the daily confession, pray, and go right into the lesson. And the, the daily confession comes from Isaiah 11 and 2. This is the King James Version. If you're looking at my videos or following me, you will see that every day, every uh, video, just about. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Now, the fear I'm talking about today is not this fear. The fear I'm talking about today is more of that devastation of that tornado. The fear that comes with that tornado. Uh, what these people are feeling. But God wants you to see that he is the light. Fear is an unexpected emotion caused by a brief, brief um, let's do that again. Fear 
is a uh, unexpected emotion caused by the uh, belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. Now, think about the tornado. The tornado is a dangerous thing. It's, uh, it causes pain because it wipes out everything. It's a threat because it wipes out everything. And it's very, it's something to be fearful of. But in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, it states, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the power and of love and of a sound mind. And, and God loved us so, us so much that in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, not just some uh, certain people, the world that he gave his only begotten son. Think about if you love something so much, a world, that you gave your only child, your only child, that whosoever believe it in him, Jesus, should not perish, but have everlasting life. So even when those people died through that tornado, if they believed in Jesus Christ, they will live on forever. Their spirit, their soul will live on forever. They won't be in agony. Because if you don't believe and you believe in what Satan is doing, you will be tormented. Forever. That fear that I talked about here will amplify probably about 10 times. And that's if you believe in Satan. You believe and don't believe in Jesus Christ. So God gave us this great man, this great spirit, this great son of his, this God. To help us here on earth with this word fear. This means you will live forever. And I did say that. I'm kind of reading my notes here. Now let's go back to the word fear. An unexpected emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. And, and, and let's look back again at 2 Timothy. Fear is a spirit. That's what 2 Timothy says. It says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear. So, what is a spirit? It's something that moves. We are, are made up of flesh and spirit. God is a spirit. And Satan is too. And he gets into other people to get his work done. So, in 2 Peter, Peter, I mean 2 Timothy, fear is a spirit, and that spirit did not come from the Lord. It came from Satan. So I don't, I don't have to let you know that fear is not of God. It is of Satan. Because Satan wants to devastate you, wants you to be in pain. He wants to threaten you. He wants to make you so afraid 
that you won't do nothing that God asks. So now, you need to go to Matthew 16, 19. If you got all that up on you, an unexpected emotion that's caused by the be belief that someone or something is dangerous, and you just scared half out of your wits, and you continue on having this on you. I remember at one time when, when uh, I've been here in Nashville, Tennessee, a little bit over three years now, uh, and I never wanted to come back. This is my home. But I never wanted to come back because of spirit of fear. It was some things that happened to me when I was growing up that brought a lot of fear into me. And it was Satan. I literally saw a lot of demonic things as a child. And so I wanted to get out of here as soon as I could. I didn't really want to know too much about here. But... God showed me a lot. My foundation for God was is here. Uh, what I was taught about God is here. And so, but but Satan had put this fear on me that I moved around quite a bit for over 30 years. I come, I will come back here to visit, but I didn't want to live here. I remember one time God sent me back here to live for about 11 months. And I got permission from here, from God, to relocate again. And he allowed me to do that until three years ago. And he had me to come back. So when I came back, I had this great fear on me because of the things I had to do to come back here and the things I had to do when I left here. So it was devastating. So I know about this fear category and I know that it's not of God. So God taught me this verse and I want to teach it to you for any time that spirit of fear of Satan come up on you. I want you to pull out this book or write it down or remember this particular verse. It's Matthews chapter 16, verse 19. And this is what God gave Peter, and this is what God is giving you today. And I will give unto uh, thee the keys of the kingdom of of heaven. Woohoo! God is going to give you today the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So, think about, you need to bind up that spirit of fear. Because in 2 Timothy 1, 7, God didn't give it to you. So it had to come from Satan. Because it's something evil. And God said, he's giving you keys. Keys to the kingdom of heaven. So you can walk around here on earth with the keys of heaven. And you said, I bind up that spirit of fear. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. And you are speaking that here on earth. And as you speak it here on earth, it is being done in heaven. So heaven is perfect. So that spirit of fear has been bound up in heaven and we're going to loose that spirit of fear here on earth into the pit of hell and as we loose, loose it here on earth it's loosed in heaven 
So that means it's broken off of you. You have no more fear of, 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 of fear. You have no more spirit of fear. And God has binded with the keys that he has given to you. He's bound it. He's sent, he's loosed it into the pit of hell. So now you're free. You're free from that spirit. You're seeing the light of Christ. You're seeing his glory. So now that God has given something to release that fear from your life, you need to do it. Anything that's not of God that is referenced to this scripture, Go back to that. His love and his word. So if if uh, God's love and his word, his word is Matthew uh, uh, 16, 19. His love is John 3, 16. So if you have that spirit up on you, now speak that Matthew uh, 16 through 19. And no, it is not of God, that spirit of fear. I want you to understand that everything that happens here, uh, that happened in, the, um, in Nashville, Tennessee, through that tornado, that Matthew 16, 19 had to be spoken. The light of the churches, the light of the of God is is just illuminating all through this city, all through the surrounding cities. The hurricane went 150 miles, and these people that died, about 25 people died, and um, houses destroyed, buildings destroyed. But it's God has sent His angels. All these angels, they coming from other states. They coming from everywhere. Electricity was off. Now it's back on. It's so much happened so quickly in a week. And it's a lot more that needs to go. But it's just, if this had happened years ago, without the love of Christ, without the Spirit of of God moving through this state, nothing will be happening. So God is with us here in Nashville, Tennessee. God is with us here in the state of Tennessee. The Spirit of the Lord is moving all over this state. And he's moving right with you. Let's pray. Father God, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you for what you have done on this video. I ask that the people will see your spirit moving. And that spirit of fear that's not of you, that Matthew 16, 19 will teach them how to move that spirit from their environment. I thank you for how you are healing your people. I thank you for my healing. I ask you to bless this video. Bless everyone that click on it. I thank you for how everything in Romans 8, 28, everything comes together for your good. Even this tornado, it is coming together for your good. It is showing the people that you are still in control. No matter about our environments, no matter about what Satan is doing, God is still in control. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing in Jesus' most mighty name. Amen to the Father, amen to the Son, and amen to the Holy Ghost. 
Again, I thank you for clicking on this video this morning. I, I pray that you got something from fear is not of God. I pray that you can see God moving within the midst of the tragedy that happened here in, in the Tennessee uh, area of the 150 miles. How even um, everybody has come together as one. Uh, he even pulled the president of the United States. He pulled him into Tennessee. So, you know, God is in control. I don't care what we say about anything. God is in control. This is Apostle Jimmy Jumra, founder of Jesus Delivery International Ministry and JDI Networks. Tune in to our broadcast every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time or see us load up our pre-recorded video at any time. God bless you.